Now I have got a huge update for you. BookBolt have just expanded their software and made it even better and easier to use. Now this is specifically around word searches and number searches and honestly I think you are going to love these updates. It's now even more customizable, you can, it's simpler to use, you can change the shapes of your puzzles and it's going to include titles as well, changing the number. So previously, forget everything I've said about titles in puzzles. Forget it. They have nailed this. So without further ado, my name's Claire. This is Mrs. D. Welcome back or hello if you're new here. Let's jump over onto the computer right now and check out BookBowl and what they've been up to. Okay, so I'm super excited to take you through this tutorial today because BookBolt have added these incredible features to their puzzle making tools. So as you can see, I'm here, I'm over on the BookBolt homepage. So what I'm going to do is change this to create just there, hit BookBolt Studio, and then that's going to open up my project. Right, so this is the project that I have started. So I've gone for a paperback cover, 8.5 by 11, just here. Um, so it's given me my KDP template. I've set it up for 78 pages. And then what I'm going to do today is just show you how you can kind of create your own custom templates for your word searches or number puzzles. Today we're going to go for word searches because I think it's it's something that gives a little bit more to your customer really and I think it takes a little bit more work so you're in a less saturated market straight away. So we're not going to do any work on the cover today because I've shown you so many times how to do different sorts of covers. Um, then here we're going to have a welcome page on page one. Again, we're not going to focus on that. So we're going to start straight away on page two. So I'm going to come over into our page templates and like as normal, you've got all your lined note paper, your graph paper, your music sheets, all of these different things. And then, but now we've got word search standard and word search customized. And then we've got numbers standard and numbers customized. So what I'm going to show you is the word search custom. I'm going to select from page two. And then we're going to do all the way up to, I was going to do 50 puzzles. So up to page 52. OK, so that's that. Then we're going to go continue to options. So this has really changed since some of my last videos. Oh, this one here is one that I've started. So let me just clear that. Um, so this has really changed the different options that we've got. Let me just show you. So now we've got KDP guidelines. We've got words per puzzle, boards, puzzle, solution and title. So what we're going to do is starting with words per puzzle, I'm going to keep that to 10. I'm going to have it as a default strategy, but you have got less intersections and more intersections there. I'm allowing diagonal words and I'm also allowing reverse words. For the board size, I'm saying um, not to allow my grid size to change. So your board is basically how your puzzle now appears. So we're going to create a few different boards. So first board we're going to do is we're going to create a custom shape. So I'm just going to click in here and go choose file. Um, this here is the one that I'm going to do. As you can see, I've tried a few different ones, but this was the one that I found worked the best. So if I open that up and now you can see that the puzzle has automatically made into a heart shape which I think is really cool. Now another really awesome thing that you can do is you can invert it so that means that the inside is clear but the words are around the edge and the reason I really like that is because say for example the words I've chosen for today are actually like inspirational words 
So, you know, like on the colouring book pages where you have an inspirational quote, you could go through and you could add the inspirational quotes to this. But for today, we're just going to have it as a normal one. You can also save this mask so you can use it for future projects as well. And we can also change the um, size of the grid. So that one there is a hard one. And then again, if I just select our mask and then you can see that it's just made the puzzle a bit bigger. Do we want a reflection? I don't want a reflection. So that's kind of one puzzle there. But we can actually add multiple boards. So if we want different puzzles or different shapes, you can go through and do that. So I'm going to hit here, add a board. I'm also going to change this one to hard. And by the way, there are custom as well. So you can go through and put in how many rows and columns you would like. But if we keep with the hard and then let me show you how I created my mask over in Canva. So here I am over in Canva. So I hit create a blank Instagram post. And then if we just let that come up, go to elements. And then I'm going to have a look at shapes. So let's say, OK, let's go for a star. I don't know how that's going to work out, but we'll give it a go. I'm going to make that nice and big. Like that. And then I'm going to hit share download. I'm going to download it as a PNG. I'm going to select for the transparent background and hit download there. Then let's just save that. Save as. Let's go star mask transparent. And that's it. So now I can come over into my Bookbolt Studio. I can hit choose file. And that should come up there. Hit open. And there we go. OK, now, if you want to tweak this image. So, for example, I actually think this would look better with this coming out a little bit more. So all I'm doing is I'm clicking down and then I'm just dragging my mouse along. Like that. To unhide. Those um, different spots. I might just bring that one in there. I think this might look better if that came out a bit. No, it doesn't. So actually, I don't like that, what I've just done there. So now what I'm going to do is click hide. And then I'm just going to mirror that back again. Three. There we go. So now that's, oh, that one as well. So now that's back to being the same as that. But you can kind of tweak it and change it as much as you would like. OK, so that's board number two. So now if we add another board, I'm going to change this again to hard. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create maybe a custom shape. So what I'm going to do is hit hide so then I can hide some bits. So let's just say this time I would like maybe like an inverted square in the middle. So I'm going to kind of go here. I'm going to take these out. Is that a square? I think. Do I need one more line? Yeah, that's better. And then I'm just hiding all of those ones. Ooh, there we go. And then I might leave maybe a few lines there and then maybe come down like that. Oh, and what I like about this is it's so easy if you do kind of mess it up a bit to just change. In fact, so that needs to go. Oh, see ya. There we go. Right, so then I just need to change that to show and then click the ones that I want to have available. So there we go. So now that would be another board. In fact, I would have really pushed that down a bit, but you kind of, you get the idea. 
And then that way you can add in inspirational words and things like that as well. Then I might add another board that is just perhaps a hard puzzle. And that's that. And then let's say maybe switch for one more. And here, um, let's maybe go for hard. Let's have a look at the different shapes. So let me take that one out of there. Let me just see what we can find. Oh, how about like something along those lines? Let's see how this looks, because obviously it's quite a curvy shape. I'm not too sure how it's going to come out, but we'll give it a go. So download, PNG, transparent. Let me save that one. Just going to change that and then change that to cloud. Oh, came out as clouds, but we get the idea. So choose a file just there. Hit my cloud. So the transparent background, all oh, that hasn't worked at all, has it? We won't use a cloud. I think it's too curvy. Uh, let's see. How about this? Is quite a nice shape there. Let me take that out and try that one. I don't know, again, not too sure how this is going to come out, but we'll give it a go. Share, download, transparent background. There it goes. Save as. No corners. That is clearly the technical term for that shape. So I'm going to clear that. Yes, I didn't like that shape. And now we're going to use this one. Let's just say, oh, there we go. So that's really nice. That's much better, isn't it? And again, you could kind of hide or add in any of these. So you could actually like make letters and things like that as well. Um, you could spell out words. So let's just say there, I've got my five boards. Every currently puzzle usage is set to one so that means it will go board one board two board three board four board five and then it will rotate back to board one so if let's just say i wanted 10 heart puzzles in a row then i could change that to 10 and do it that way um but i do just want it to go one two three four five i think that gives like a bit of a nice sort of element to it because it feels as though the puzzle is forever changing then here i'm going to select puzzle so i want puzzle per page i want it one per page i want it in the center cell size that's fine um letter color yes black i want more in capital letters uh open sans is good that's fine for the borders the cell color the empty mask color if it's like this checker block that means transparent do we want clues so the clues are going to be the words so do you want them in lines or columns so i'm going to go like that how do you want your words sorted uh, how do you want your words sorted short to long and then do you want your text to be center left or right so we're going to keep all of that the same then here you can say what sort of size font you want so you can go custom i'm going to just stick with the the small size at the moment then on the solutions we want it after all of the puzzle pages but i've got a 78 page book with 50 puzzles so i actually want to change that to two per page they're going to be center the solution highlighter is going to be gray again all the sizes are all exactly the same i'm going to keep that all the same and then here is what i absolutely love because how many times have i tried to show you like the quickest way to do it is to go in put puzzle and then the little hashtag sign um and then the number and then you have to go in and you have to re-edit it so here it's going to do it for you. So you can have custom, 
you can use your title as your first line. You can have no title, but I'm going to go for puzzle. We're going to start at number one, puzzle, hashtag, puzzle, underscore, number. It's done that all for you. Here you can select your font so you don't have to stick with what they have selected. So I'm going to use Acme just there. Default 3% or you can go for your custom number. Central, yes. Do you want it capitals? It's up to you. And then the same here with the solutions. So I'm going to change that to Acme as well. Uh, oh, didn't want to hit capitalize there. And then here's where we upload our CSV file. So just to let you know, this is how I've got my words today. So I've gone to ChatGPT. I've asked ChatGPT to give me 250 words. I've then asked it again to give me 250 more. And then I've simply copied and pasted all these words into an Excel file. I've saved it as a CSV, but you can see there. So if I scroll to the bottom, there are 500 words just there. So I'm going to close that down. But now we are going to open that up. So choose my CSV file, the desktop. There we go. Preview my 500 rows. And there you go. You can see the same words have appeared. And then it says use random words or sentences if my file does not meet requirements. Make sure all your words are in one column, which should be column A. Words and phrases are limited to 20 characters. When choosing the number of puzzles when solutions are picked, make sure you have the number of pages needed. For example, 50 puzzles plus 50 solutions equals 100 pages. Yeah, and then it tells you about their troubleshooting. So now if we continue to the solution pages, so now that's going to go at the end, just there. And then we're going to hit submit. I just think that these updates in BookBolt have just made our lives just so much easier. And obviously, you can still go through, you can still customize and do all of those things. But the fact now that we can customize the shapes of our word searches, we can make them more bespoke to the people that we are marketing them to. We can make our books more unique as well. I love how much more customizing options we've got, which I think was probably one of the downfalls but what I've always loved about book bowl is how simple and easy it is to use right now it's just matching up my word searches with my words so and then it's creating all the different boards as well now do not forget whilst this is doing down in the pinned comments and in the description there is the book bolt link it is an affiliate link so I do make a small amount of commission when you click through on it um, however, it doesn't affect the price that you're paying. In fact, it makes it a little bit cheaper for you at just 20% off. So it's really good value. And I think it can really kind of excel your Amazon KDP journey. As I say, I use it for puzzle creation. I use it for journals, planners, notebooks. I also use it for my keyword research, which I've got plenty of videos on. Um, I'll also I'll post a link to my book bulk playlist. So you might just notice a little bit of a change up there. Um, so I had to stop recording before, but here we go. So we are back on now. I've got onto a headset as well, just to, as my microphone on my laptop has decided to do something very funny. But let me just show you. So last time we were together, we had uploaded our word searches, our words, and now everything has been put into the various word searches. So if we go page two, this was our heart shape. So you can see that there. And then you can see up here, it says puzzle one. And I think I would play about with it a little bit more just to make sure it looks more aesthetically pleasing. I'd like that much bigger, I think, in comparison. Then down at the bottom here, well, I seem to have moved it all around. Very clever. We've got all the words 
as well, just down here. So that's really good. Then we've got the star shape just loading in. This was that funny square shape that we drew out. So obviously you would play around with the formatting. But again, and these are the words that I've put in the Excel document. This one is a plain square. Yep, so that's just your standard. Then here we took out and we had the curved edges. So, and then it starts again, because if you remember, we had, was it five boards? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, and then back to the heart. And then if we go to the second half, there will be a solutions page. So where are they? Let's keep scrolling. Here we go. And we asked for two per page. So this is the first one. If we just scroll in there so you can see. So yeah, you can see there how the markers have changed colors and it just says solution two up at the top. And I think what you could do as well is like, obviously you can add page numbers so you could do that as well. So make sure that you've got all the relevant page numbers and things on each of the pages. So that goes all the way through. Let's see another page. So you can see they're all completely random. That one, this one looks really different as well. And I think that's so cool. Like that's not taken as long at all to get that all together. And I use ChatGPT to get the words together. So that's absolutely incredible. And then obviously from there, you can kind of format it a bit better, add any backgrounds and things that you might want to do. What I tend to like to do is to actually do the backgrounds first, so then you can repeat it onto the various pages. And if I knew that I was going to have five boards, then I would do five different backgrounds and then have them repeated through. And then, yeah, so that's the last page. And then obviously you just need to welcome work on your welcome page and your front cover and that's it done obviously here so you can select either or so you can edit the contents just there you can rename it and um, you can bring it to the front send it to the back so that's really good if you are working um, with backgrounds and things so then you can change the position and all sorts of things like that so so let me know down in the comments what you think, because I think this is absolutely ingenious from BookBow. I think this is exactly what they needed to do. We can now create our bespoke puzzle books so easily, and they can be way more unique than what they were previously. So I am actually going to keep working on this, and I am going to um, do some designs in the background, create a cover, a welcome page, and yeah let me know down in the comments if you'd like me to post a picture of that in the community tab now thank you so much for watching today i really hope you've enjoyed that tutorial i think these are incredible updates from book bolt i really hope that you agree i cannot wait to see you all next time but, but if you want to see more of what book bolt has to offer then check out this playlist just here it's so good. There's so many different books that you can create from all of the different templates they have to offer. Not only that, you can use it for your keyword research too. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye.